What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be talking about more Christmas movies. So today we are going to be watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now I know a lot of people including myself this is a not only a cult classic to some people but a nostalgic movie to a lot of people. Me include actually this is what's funny before I even get into this review. I actually did not like this movie when it first came out. I was not interested in this movie. I was not a big Grinch fan when I was little. When I got older, I started liking it more. I watched it. I realized how funny it was. I enjoyed the story. And I, and I fell in love with it. And I really did. I enjoyed it. Um, I have to say, this is probably my favorite interpretation of the Grinch. And not only because of Jim Carrey's magnificent performance that he's able to portray in this, but just by the story itself, how they go in the Grinch, have where he's from, or not really where he's from, but his origin and all this other kind of stuff. So again, if you guys have not watched How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey, uh, I'm going to give you just a brief description of it, what I think about it, why I liked it, why I like it, and things of that nature. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Obviously, if more than likely, probably 95% of you guys have, I'm assuming. So... It does star Jim Carrey, obviously playing the Grinch. We have uh, Taylor Thompson, who plays as a very young uh, Cindy Lou Who. So it's mainly based around these two characters. Cindy Lou Who is uh, the main character, obviously from the stories, and she learns slowly about the Grinch, and she wants to know why the Grinch is the way he is and how come everybody's so scared of him and nobody wants nothing to do with him. So she goes on this mission to try to figure out why the Grinch is the way he is. He goes to these two ladies that found him and adopted him because on a very windy night he was found in their tree. They took him in and they raised him like you know their own and brought him to school and he was under their beliefs and all this other kind of stuff you know for christmas and obviously with him being the way he looked he was treated very differently and he was picked on but the only one that really had his attention was martha may Huvier, and vice versa she liked him he liked her but again she did not act upon it because again with the way he looked and how he was a little younger than her and also with the way that um grinch was as well so he was a little intimidated but he did try try around Christmas to build her her own uh, Christmas tree ornament on top of her tree and before he didn't even get a word out he took a sh you know try to shave himself didn't go very well he was picked on about it very badly and he destroyed not only the present the other presents destroyed you know all the decorations in school and he just went missing for several years and he was up in the mountains so his job in the movie is to not only disrupt Christmas but destroy Christmas by any means necessary by the spirit or the presence and he goes on this mission to try to destroy it while Cindy Lou who is wanting to meet him and slowly becomes his friend and wants to make him um, I would say the guest of honor at their parade and he goes and the same thing happens again and then he just goes right back from I'm willing to try to give these people a chance but at the same time I don't because of how they treat him when he was a kid so it's basically the whole story is getting picked on so badly and acting out because of the way you were treated back then now there's so many funny moments and there's a lot of uh moments in this uh movie with the whole like oh, okay ooh, ah, okay that's it I'm not going or um Just the whole like uh, jury do jury do blackmail eviction notice, you know stuff like that. There's a lot of fun moments in this uh, m movie with Jim Carrey that he's just able to perform not only in the suit but also just with his facial expressions and the way he's able to do the voice with this character and actually bring this character to life. And I, I really firmly enjoy it. There's a lot of times I really laugh at, especially with one of the whole things that he says is the whole uh, Holly Hooby, buddy. You know, just, just something like that. And he does a good job of it. And I firmly, this is probably one of my favorite Christmas movies to watch around this time of year. And again, if you guys have not seen this, definitely watch it. It's a very classic movie. It came out in 2000. So it is a 23-year-old movie. It's, it's getting up there. You know, it's, it's getting up there. It's going to be 30 before we know it. And, oh man, just saying that makes me go, wow. But we may get another interpretation of Grinch at some point for live action. Um, I think this is going to be the best one of live action we're ever going to see, especially Jim Carrey doing the uh, 
just the Grinch the best way he could. And I firmly enjoyed it. Did you guys enjoy it? Have you guys ever seen The Grinch with Jim Carrey? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, and subscribe and leave a big fat like video if you guys enjoyed. What did you guys think of The Grinch? I'd like to know. And I'll see you as always on the next one.